Hello everybody and thank you much for watching. In this video, I would like to talk to you about Phonica's USB sound card hub and just see if it's gonna work with my Samsung Tech setup. Let's begin. The reason why I even had this is I'm trying to figure out how I can screen record um, decks and same time record the in in internal audio and past my microphone audio setup. It's like a voiceover. So basically what OBS can do on Windows I'm trying to recreate the similar functionality on a Samsung DeX. So basically because it's a sound card USB hub and it has a couple of ports, uh, actually it's three 3.5 millimeter headphone jacks. So one of them is microphone, one is, one is headphones, and I'll actually I will show you them in a second. But the idea is route the internal audio back to uh, out and then back in as a microphone at the same time sending another microphone. It's a bit confusing, but uh, I'm just trying to figure out if it's possible. Right, so that's the Phonicus USB sound card hub. Um, it's available on Amazon. And I never heard this brand before until I found this. And when I started looking, they're apparently selling headphones and all sorts regarding the audio. And obviously one of the products is this external, external, I can't even speak today, external USB sound card. Right, so let's have a look. Uh, at the back of the box, it says a quick products features, support, for 3.5 millimeter audio equipment, ordinary audios, headphones, and microphones. T10, this is a, the model number, T10. T10 can replace the computer, notebook, original, damaged sound card, international standard USB interface, plug and play, instead of traditional sound card. Okay. Scope for applications, only notebooks and desktops. That's what it says on here. So no decks or un Android devices. EQ button will switch between sound effects. We'll check that out if it's going to work. And compatibility system, Windows 7, 8, 8.1, Windows 10, and XP. So no DAX. And the cord length is 1.5 meters. Inside the box, uh, when I opened it, obviously I already opened it just to have a quick look. Inside the box, I found the actual USB, uh, USB external sound card, which I'll show you all the buttons and connections in a second. The manual, and basically that's it. So inside the manual, nothing pretty, nothing like, anything extraordinary, just the standard, what you will find inside every manual, just a quick uh, different languages and showing exactly what each of the connections do and etc. So this is the Phonicus USB uh, external sound card, uh, 1.2 meters length of cable from here all the way to here. And build quality, first of all, it's light. I expect it to be a bit heavier, but it's lighter than I expected. And the build quality feels steady i mean feels great no weird noises when i'm trying to bend it or twist or anything but the finished material it's basically first of all fingerprint magnet i mean proper fingerprint magnet i'm not sure if the camera can pick it up but my greasy hands is basically leaving a fingerprints all over the place and uh, the actual finish is the plastic but it's very slippery plastic i can't really put a pin to to it where i found the similar it's something like uh a while back, I bought a very cheap mouse, and the top, the the top of the mouse was exactly the same. Uh, it's, it's very well. It feels cheap. Let's get the ports. So on one side we have two USB 2.0 ports. At the front we have one USB 2.0 port, so it's three in total. We have three 3.5 millimeter headphone, microphone, etc. jacks. So one on this, on your left side or my right left side uh, is a microphone. There is a headphone microphone combo. And then there's only headphones. All other side is nothing. And at the back is nothing. At the top, we have the dial, which you can basically increase or decrease the volume. We have the buttons, five of them. Ba uh, previous song, uh, next song, so back, forward, mic mute, equalizer button, and the play, play, pause button here in the middle. Right, let's connect everything up and see. Uh, I think I mentioned everything. And it says the color black and blue. Basically, it's a black, color device but the LED lights which will indicate and I'll show you in a second they are blue LED lights right let's connect this bad boy and to my DeX so once I connect it uh, my DeX detects that I have a USB plug and play audio device this pop-up on my screen is basically a virtual here Android app detects that there's a USB device connected you're not gonna get that one on your device because well if you have virtual here installed you will get it but this is nothing that you need to worry about so it's lit up. We have a Phonica's uh, branding uh, lit up in blue color. 
and we have a dial which when you turn it twist is changing the colors and going from from basically nothing to a full lit up okay so now let's get the audio plugged in first thing um, i'm gonna use this uh, soundbar as my audio output i already connected the uh, usb type b cable uh, to get to supply the power if i'll connect this end to my dex this speaker will be treated as an output i don't want to do that so i'm going to use the external battery to get that power sent to the speaker and i'll find one of the cables for audio to plug it in and get this all working so give me a second for me to plug everything in so i have everything connected the phonica is connected by a blue usb to my dex then the headphone or the cable which is a trrs to trs so that's plugged in okay thank you speaker so that's sends the audio to a speaker and speakers plugged in i found the video which i created quite a while ago on my dex channel about the uh dj loop pads um android app that allows you to it's no linus twice. sorry it's not I you actually... by the linus okay right so let's go back to my video so we're quickly gonna go and play the tune on that so let's go so right i'm gonna try go through equalizer i'm just trying to find a part in this video okay so let's go through equalizer Okay, so apparently equalizer position A it says default sound effect, B music sound effect, C movies sound effect, and D gaming sound effect. But to be honest, what I think about them is I don't think which one is which to be honest because when you're pressing equalizer it doesn't give you any indication what the hell you actually pressed this is not for me to be used as a proper like sound card which you probably will be able to use if you are using this on a windows but obviously this is mr p channel and i don't do windows things everything is dex so like i said i got this one because i'm planning on trying to work it out how to send the audio from headphones back as a microphone same time sending a microphone uh, input from the road wireless i have a bunch of cables here which let's say for example i have this which is two uh, female inputs to one male input and they are both i think just a uh, standard ones this one is goes uh, from the trrs so three rings here goes to headphone microphone combo so the idea basically is something like have this one plugged in here which sends a signal from this to let's say to a mic then from this sends the signal to here then this sends signal to here then i grab something like this i plug in this one here so i hope you're getting an idea it's connecting something like that and trying to reroute the audio back into the decks and then use the screen recording app to record the let's say gameplay with the internal um, audio of the game in-game audio and at the same time sending my microphone but this dial will basically reduce or increase the volume of in-game uh, audio going out and back in so that's my idea how it's going to work but this is uh still a work in progress i haven't really tested that much this is a great device if you using a dex you uh you you have you're struggling of the usb ports so you have extra free here after free usb ports for you to plug in i don't know external hard drives etc uh, memory sticks a wired keyboard and a mouse and this has these headphone jacks again if you have your let's say my galaxy tab s6 don't have a headphone jack and the, currently the usb hub that i'm using doesn't have a headphone jack so something like this would be helpful and obviously i can then connect something underneath the table here and then have um headphones plugged in or route the cable and have this device facing let me disconnect this one facing this way and i have the headphones plugged in it's a lot of I can I can see this being used in a, a lot of ways but again uh, like I said I'm trying to figure out how to get in-game audio out and back in as a mic input same time sending a secondary mic input 
via same connection and then having like a screen recording voiceover with the face face cam and etc etc if you think that you know the way how to get everything's connected because to be honest i have a lot of cables here okay i dropped it i have a lot of cables here and they're all like headphone jack the splitters trs trrs etc 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 so if you know the way how to get all this connected let me know in the comment section below please because i want to get this sorted and obviously test it out and hopefully um this is gonna work and i can start screen recording same time doing the voiceovers and etc thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this messy video and i'll see you in the next one goodbye